Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the medical specialties tier list. This is a 100% objective video, 0% subjective, and completely free from my bias, as you'll see. And for those who are wondering, we got some Iron Goddess Oolong. Mmm, that's some good stuff. All right, first things first, let's start with the obvious. Plastic surgery, clearly S tier. There's no denying that. The best and the brightest going to plastic surgery. Everyone wants to be a plastic surgeon. You got the people that want to do the aesthetics, the people that want to do the reconstructive. That's like the really sci-fi stuff, which is wild. And um, it's just the coolest, most sci-fi, advanced, beautiful, et cetera, et cetera, specialty out there in medicine. So clearly S tier, and if you disagree, then you're wrong. Emotional damage! Next up, we got pediatrics. Pediatrics is unequivocally D tier. The reason being that pediatrics, it's very important work. Pediatricians are working with the future of America and we can't be grateful enough for the service that they provide. However, at the end of the day, you're working with a lot of snot, boogers, crying kids, and really neurotic parents. So pediatricians are really sacrificing themselves to help the country, but no one actually enjoys being a pediatrician. Next up is pathology. I don't even know what the f that is. Is that even medicine? Urology, of course, A tier. Urology, if I could summarize the specialty, it's a lot of dick jokes. And if you like that, I mean, who doesn't, then you're gonna have a great time in urology. You gotta do some surgery, you gotta do some clinic, and day in and day out, you're looking at a lot of dong. So if that's what you like, and again, who doesn't, then urology is gonna be a really great specialty for you. Now, if urology is A tier, that makes gastroenterology B tier. The reason being, poop jokes are awesome. Gastroenterology, a lot of poop jokes. But it's all fun and games until there's poop on you and no one really likes that. The other thing here is that with gastroenterology, you're doing three years of maternal medicine, then three years of gastroenterology, and that's just, that's six years. With six years, you can become a plastic surgeon. Why won't you choose that? So yeah, B tier on a good day. ob Gyn is F tier because, to be frank, not everyone wants to be miserable. Family medicine, C tier. Family medicine gets a lot of hate unfairly, but you gotta realize, to be a good family medicine doctor, you need to know a lot of stuff. You need to know a little bit about everything, and that's pretty challenging. You are using all of the knowledge, all of the experiences that you gained in medical school for the rest of your career as a family med doc. And you have to be a certain kind of weird for family medicine to be a good fit for you, but if you're that kind of weird, then it's great. It's all gravy. We're also gonna put emergency medicine at C tier. The reason being, for emergency medicine, you have to be a little bit ADD. You are seeing a lot of things, you're going here, you're going there. Chest pain, abdominal pain, chest pain, abdominal pain. Oh, more chest pain, more abdominal pain. And then at the end of the shift, you're then finally dealing with more chest pain and more abdominal pain. But the great thing about emergency medicine is that it's shift work. So you clock in, you clock out, and for eight hours or 10 hours, you know what you're seeing. You're just seeing chest pain and abdominal pain and nothing else. And that simplicity and then clocking out and being done, no more chest pain or abdominal pain until tomorrow, it's kind of nice. Okay, public health and preventative medicine, that's a stretch not actually medicine. Anesthesia, we're putting that as D tier, clearly. And the reason being that important work, surgery can't proceed without an anesthesiologist, but part of your job as an anesthesiologist is getting yelled at by the surgeon and being blamed when things go wrong. So sometimes there's a massive complication in the middle of a surgery and the surgeon will find a way to blame you as an anesthesiologist. Maybe you looked at them funny, maybe you hiccuped in the middle of the case. Possibilities are endless. Neurosurgery, oh, neurosurgery, where are we going? F, no, D, no, C, nah, it's B tier. The reason being, neurosurgery is pretty cool, but nowhere near as cool as you think. Nuclear medicine, guys, don't waste my time. ENT, ENT. Clearly A. These are the nice surgeons in the hospital. Anywhere you go, the nicest surgeons are ENT. And I'm not sure why they're so happy and so nice because they're working in this area, which it gets kind of nasty. You got a lot of mucus, a lot of weird fluids and sounds and ugh. But they do some cool stuff. They do some complex reconstructions. They started doing a lot of microsurgery, stuff that the plastic surgeons, you know, really pioneered. The sci-fi stuff that you didn't even know was real. But if you're a nice surgeon, you go into ENT. Simple as that. Orthopedic surgery, ah, F, no, D, we're moving up. Ortho is also clearly B tier. 
because similar to neurosurgery, it's pretty cool, but not as cool as you think. What was that? No, I mean, well, if I'm being honest, it's because my step plus bench didn't exceed 500. And yeah, I'm a little bit buttered about that. Infectious diseases, F tier. I mean, you go into infectious diseases, you're dealing with sick people that have infectious diseases day in and day out. Do you want to get sick? I don't. Dermatology. Where are we going here? Is it real medicine? Barely. F tier. <laughs> Next up, we got cardiology, A tier. Pulmonology, A tier. Obviously. You may be wondering why. Well, think of it this way. These are two of the very few specialties that actually use math. And math is sexy as hell. With pulmonology, you're doing PV equals NRT, E equals MC squared. With cardiology, you got cardiac output equals stroke volume times heart rate. It's just, it's great stuff. These are also instant panty droppers. If you, if you bring up these equations at a party, you're, you're gonna have a good time. Mm. Radiology, D tier, because it's chill, which is good. But the issue with radiology is that you must really hate people. And if you hate people, then people don't like you either. So D tier. Now psychiatry and neurology are both pointing to the same organ system. But psychiatry is F and neurology is C. The reason being that neurology is a harder science and we all know harder science is more better. And psychiatry is a little bit of a softer science. Softer science is less better. So C and F. And there you have it. The fully objective, 100% accurate medical specialties tier list. Hope you enjoyed.